This is Sports Chat good with evening. Nat. Good afternoon. I don't know what time of day it is when you watch this video, but this is Sports Chat with Nat. I'm Natalie W. Baker. If you haven't already subscribed, I need you to hit the button to subscribe and follow me so you won't miss interesting and exciting information about all sports. But right now, we're talking about the NFL playoffs. This is Wild Card Weekend 2022. NFL playoffs are all set. We are ready. And here I am to talk to you about what's going to happen this weekend. All right, first off, the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs, they're the only two teams that got buys. Now, there was a little controversy about the, the cancel game and all of that, but we're not going into all of that right now. It's set. The Eagles and the Chiefs have the bye. Now, among the interesting matchups in the first round, two divisional rivalries are in the AFC, um, and Dak Prescott and Tom Brady in the NFC. All right, so the Wild Card Weekend starts tomorrow, which is Saturday, January the 14th. And we have a little bit of info on all of the games, okay? So let's just get started. The first game is the Seahawks at the 49ers. Now, the uh, 49ers are seeking a three-game sweep this season over the Seahawks. They've beaten them by a total of 28 points this season. Now, the Seahawks are 13th in offense and 26th in defense overall. But Tariq Woolen, Woolen, is tied for first with six interceptions, okay? Now, Geno Smith has been leading all quarterbacks in completion percentage all season long. And the 49ers have went from Garoppolo to, um, I'm sorry, they went from Trey Lance to Garoppolo. Now they're at Purdy, all right? So he's a third stringer, however, their defense is still number one, and their offense is fifth. They have the sack leader, Nick Bosa, with 18.5 sacks this season, and they are sporting a 10-game winning streak by an average of 16 points. Now, they are number five in, uh, in the top five in offense and defense, one of only two teams, them and Philadelphia. So I have the 49ers, 32, Seahawks, 28. At 8.15 on Saturday evening, we have the Chargers at the Jaguars. Now, the Chargers overall are number 8 in offense and 20th in defense. But Justin has quietly slid into number 2 uh, behind Patrick Mahomes with 4,739 yards. Now, the Jaguars, with Trevor Lawrence in his second year doing outstanding, they are ninth overall in offense and 24th in defense. But the number one um, in tackles, Forsea Okalu, O L U K U N, Aluka, I don't know how to say it. I'm not going to lie to you. But he number one in tackles. That being said, I have the Jags. A lot of people are going with the, the, the Chargers, but I believe the Jags are on a roll. They're at home, so I have the Jags 28, Chargers 21. Dolphins at the Bills. Now, we all know that uh, DeMar Hamlin had the incident on the field. He has been discharged from both hospitals. He is speaking. Um, his recovery is going along well. Uh, there's no talk of him returning to football anytime soon. Um, and the Bills are... Uh, are just excited. They are on a roll. They are united. That one incident united the country for a brief moment. Um, and we will say that uh, the Dolphins, now Tua, people are talking about Tua needs to uh, consider retiring. He's had three concussions in, what, eight weeks? There's a lot of controversy with what Tua is going to do. So, that being said, the Dolphins have not said who they are starting. I got the Bills 32, Dolphins 14. Oh, let me say this. Tyreek Hill is number two receiver with 1,710 yards. And the number five uh, receiving 
in receiving yards is Stephon Diggs of the Bills with 14-29. Bills 32, Dolphins 14. The Giants at the Vikings. Now, the Giants are on the roll. They are doing awesome. They are having a wonderful year. Uh, they have the number four rusher in Shaquan Barkley. He's back to his rookie status with 1,312 yards. Their offense is ranked number 18th overall and 25th in defense. The Vikings, 7th in offense and 31st in defense. Now, they have the number one receiver in Justin Jefferson. They have a rookie head coach, Kevin O'Connell. And um, Patrick Peterson. Patrick Peterson. I don't know why I wrote his name down. I wrote it down for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, number five in interceptions. That's what it was. So, as you can see, the Vikings have a lot going on. Now, they've won 13 games by one score possession, one score. First team in the NFL to do it. So, I have the Vikings 28, Giants 24. Good season, Giants, next year. Ravens at the Bengals. Now, let me tell you this about um, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is still not playing. This is the second postseason that Lamar was not available. And Lamar says, and I quote, there is still inflammation surrounding my knee and my knee remains unstable. I wish I could be out there with my guys more than anything, but I can't give 100% of myself to my guys and fans. I'm still hopeful we have a chance. Now, He asking for all that money. Some people say they should trade him. Some people say they should keep him. Some people say they'd be a fool to get rid of him. Listen, all I know, he's not sturdy. This is the second year in a row he wasn't sturdy. He won the MVP one season, yes, but he has not done that since, okay? That being said, they have not named a starting quarterback. Now, they have paid Raquan Smith $100 million. He is number three in tackles. Um, and the offense is 16th overall and defense is 10th. They still got a little remnants of Ray Lewis defense. Now the Bengals, eighth over, uh, offense and 16th defense. Burroughs is number five in quarterbacks with 4,475 yards. Bengals 32, Ravens 14. Um, now, oh, let me tell you this about the Ravens. Huntley, he has not thrown a pass. He has not thrown a pass. Um, so I, I don't know what they're going to do over there. Now, oh, the quarterback, I mean, the offensive coordinator, Greg Roman said, it's day to day. He's making progress. Talking about Huntley. All right? All right, that's that. Now, the last game on the roster this weekend. On uh, Sunday night, Sunday night, the Cowboys at the Buccaneers. Now, Dak has thrown 15 interceptions. I personally think that Dak has had a problem since he came back. I think he was shooting the Cooper, Cooper Rush cooker. Cooper Rush did so well. Um, they are 11th overall in offense and 12th in defense. Uh, Prescott. He's 1-3 in the playoffs, and they're going against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Now, y'all know Tom Brady going to get some calls. Their offense is currently ranked number 15th and the defense ninth. I didn't realize their defense was quite that good. But anyway, now Brady has slipped into number three in the quarterback rankings. Yes, he has, with 4,694 yards, and he's undefeated versus the Cowboys. He will pick that defense apart. I'm going out on a limb, and I'm going Brady and the Buccaneers 21, Cowboys 20. Now, at the beginning of the season, I did pick the Cowboys to be in the top two. I picked Philly to go to the Super Bowl, and I had the Cowboys a close second. But uh, they, 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 they've not been making the noise I thought they would make. So that being said, Buccaneers 21, Cowboys 20. Now, let me give you a little bit more going into these playoffs. The final showing here, Patrick is still number one. 
with 5,250 yards. Justin Herbert, number two, I told you, with 4,739. Thomas, three. Kirk Cousins is number four. And I don't think I said that when I was talking about those Vikings. But he is number four. And uh, with 4,547. And Joe Burrows, I did say, is number five. Now, in rushing, Josh Jacob of the Vake, Las Vegas Raiders, who are not in it, is still number one. Derrick Henry of the Tennessee Titans, who are not in it, is number two. Nick Chubb, Cleveland Browns, not in it, number three. And Shaquan Barkley, number four, the Giants, they're still in. Tackles, I told you, Foya Sayer of the Jaguars. Nick Bolton of Kansas City is number two. They got the bye this week. Raquan Smith of Baltimore is number three. And the Colts, Zaire Franklin, number four, they're not in it. And Denver's number five, uh, Alex Singleton, they're not in it. Sacks, I told you Nick Bosa of the San Francisco is number one. Uh, Philly, Hassan Reddick is number two. Cleveland, Miles Garrett, number three, they're not in it. And Kansas City, Chris Jones is number four. Receiving, I already told you, Justin Jefferson's number one, Tyreek number two. Devontae, Las Vegas is number three. They are not in it. AJ of the Philadelphia Eagles is number four. And Stefan is number five. Interceptions. Justin Simmons of the Denver Broncos. Nowhere near the playoffs. He's number one. It's, it's one, two, four people tied for number one. Minka Fitzpatrick, yay, of the Steelers. Justin of the Denver Broncos. C.J. Gardner Johnson of the Philadelphia Eagles. And Tyreek Woodland of the Seattle Seahawks. And Patrick Peterson is number five of the Minnesota Vikings. So, ladies and gentlemen, short and sweet. That is it uh, for all of the games this weekend in the wild card playoff weekend. Now, I'm coming back. I'm going to try to record the... Um, Pro Bowl selections, they have been made. Pro Bowl and also the um, All-Pro team has been selected. We will have a special edition for that. And so, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is Wild Card Weekend. The Super Bowl is going to be February the 12th. It's going to be played at State Farm uh, Stadium in Glendale, Arizona. Now, the AFC Championship, is the 29th, and they are thinking, they're looking at Atlanta, but we shall see what happens with that. Those locations are to be determined at a later time, and I think that's all I have for you. Let me look at my notes. Let's make sure. That's it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Chat with Nat. I'm Natalie W. Baker. I do need you. I need you to follow me. I need you to subscribe so you won't miss this kind of news. And we will be going live at some point during the playoffs. And as you know, playoffs means gift card giveaway by the time the Super Bowl gets here February the 12th. So when you are watching, I need you to drop a comment in the below the video in the comment section. Your team in the comment will get you entered into the gift card drawing. Again, any comment posted below this video or any, any videos recorded and posted during the playoffs will get you entered into the gift card giveaway. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. This is Sports Chat with Nat. I'm Nellie W. Baker. And this has been the 2022 Wild Card Playoff Predictions by me. Have a great day. Bye.